your first alert weather with meteorologist Eric Burke. All right, Eric Burke, 1217, beautiful day, warm up already. Not a cloud in the sky. I These are the it. days your dog Bruno appreciates he because does. Uh, the, the short nose yeah. breeds, they start huffing and puffing anytime it's over 70. Yeah. So might be able to get a nice long <laughs> walk in. Even if you don't have an animal, get outside, enjoy some of this beautiful February fresh air. And unfortunately, we are looking at a pretty wet weekend forecast. We're going to go ahead and skip right to it. Cut to the chase. Pull the Band-Aid off, if you will. Look where the heavy rainfall is located for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Big swath of rainfall coming from parts of Texas, Houston, Galveston, all the way through Louisiana, Arkansas, Mississippi, as far north as Tennessee. But yeah, we're right in the middle of that big swath of brighter colors, the darker oranges and reds through parts of Georgia into the mid Atlantic. I do want to point out the people in central and southern California that have seen a one in 1000 year flood event out there, UCLA. The college out there in LA, they've seen 12 inches of rainfall. That's right, a foot of rain in one day. They typically see 18 inches for the entire year. So they saw basically, I don't know, eight months worth of rainfall in one day yesterday. So they've got drier skies coming by the weekend. We unfortunately have very wet weather. This will have a huge impact on any of your outside plans. I know the Huntsville Mardi Gras parade is on Saturday. It is looking fairly wet for that as well. Checking your thermometers though on this Tuesday afternoon. It's a great day out there. 59 in Coleman. We've got 60 to cater to Moulton, 62 out there in the Shoals, 59 in Fayetteville, 62 Fort Payne. Fort Payne, you are at 28 degrees this morning. It shows you just how powerful that sun can be this time of year, boosting our temperatures from upper 20s to now lower 60s. And that's basically where we stay for the rest of the afternoon. The reason we're not as warm as yesterday, it's because we have a north wind. That's a colder wind, obviously, than the south wind will have tomorrow. Sky stay clear overnight. If that wind starts to die down, I think we'll see some areas of patchy frost, if not a widespread frost expected by daybreak on Wednesday. How pretty is this right now? Marshall County 59 degrees with blue skies overhead. We've got two more nice days to enjoy before all that rain starts to move its way in. Partly, maybe mostly cloudy by tomorrow afternoon. Still not a bad effort as far as warming goes. 63 we will be at 40 degrees waking up on Thursday morning. 62 mostly cloudy, maybe even overcast by Thursday evening. And you can see Thursday afternoon here with the cloud cover showing up on future satellite and radar. Temperatures here in the mid to upper 50s. Staying dry through Thursday evening. It's as we go into Friday morning, your commute to work and school. The last one of the week, but it could be a tough one with the Friday traffic. Plus, you've got light to moderate scattered showers moving in. Notice the rainfall on Friday is kind of hit and miss in nature. It will be off and on until late Friday night, overnight into Saturday morning. And then we start to see the swaths of heavier rainfall moving in, and especially through late morning into the afternoon, at least with this model run. But this would be very heavy rain all across North Alabama and Middle Tennessee. Start to see a break by Sunday morning, but we've got more rain coming in behind it as we go through Sunday afternoon and evening. So another weekend. I'd like to break this trend of wet weekends. Unfortunately, that's not the case. Maybe even some storms lingering into Monday of the following week. Eric.